been busy working all night And I'm telling everybody I'ma get it right They know what I'm living like Science offers us many clues to the unexplained mysteries of our universe. But science simply cannot explain the ass-whooping that Team Negranu is delivering in this 2017 World Series of Poker. Good morning, everybody. Day 7, World Series of Poker. Going into the final 17 of the 10K Omaha 8 or Better Championship really played well. All of my preparation leading up to the World Series is paying off, you know, really focusing on losing minimum in spots where I'm supposed to, getting full value, really recognizing good spots, and I'm in good position. I think I'm sixth in chips with 17 left. We've got Abe Masseri, uh, the chip leader, had was like a ridiculously big stack, like 1.5, 1.6 million, but uh, we're gonna be playing, what is it, 15 and 30,000 limits, so we're pretty, we're, we're up there. Um, in other news, uh, so obviously I spent some time reading some YouTube comments and um, Marissa, like I've always been concerned about like ever putting her in any sort of videos and stuff like that. That's why she's sort of been like hiding in my house for a long time. But uh, part of it is because like, you know, I'm fine with handling comments. I've been in this, I've been in, I mean, I've been reading crap about myself for 20 years on forums and different forums of internet, but you know, I'm not so sure that other people can handle it as well as I do. But I know, but, but basically so far, she's been laughing her ass off. Okay, so what were your favorite YouTube comments now that you've had a chance to look through them? Oh man. <laughs> Buy her some tits. <laughs> I know, right? What are they talking about? Those are good ones. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, this motherfucker. You tell me this motherfucker never made waffles before? Yeah, you tell me this motherfucker's <laughs> never made waffles before. Um, the guy who was champion gold digger too, did you see that? <laughs> champion gold digger. Uh, um. If, if this is, if a hot chick making you waffles is what being gay gets you, <laughs> <laughs> then I want to be fucking gay. <laughs> Isn't there a bunch of comments on that one too? Yeah, that one was funny. <laughs> this is what a, if a hot now. chick bringing you waffles in a bikini gets you, yeah. Congrats on the sex. <laughs> yeah. There was another guy that, um, that said, thanks for letting all of us know that you're having sex. It's been on all of our minds. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, uh, the one that says, more rack is better. More rack is better. Now that's funny shit. <laughs> Your girlfriend is hot. Is she single? <laughs> She's single, <laughs> not single. So that's a good sign, I guess. Like, she's not offended um, by the various uh, digs at her or me or whatnot. Um, just crazy how the world's changed, right? Where like, you know, people on the internet find time to just write some hateful shit because they know like you're, there's no real consequences for it, right? Um, whereas like then when they see you in person, they just would never have the guts to do that or say that. So like, I've always kind of looked at internet trolls and, and found the humor in it. And I don't like take it very seriously. Um, Cause if you did, my goodness, like whether, if you're in the public eye in any way, shape or form, and you read those things and took them to heart and like allow, allowed them to define who you are or things like that. Oh my goodness. How do you like, that would be tough, right? So I laugh, like I find them. There was several gold digger comments about her and I figured I'd tell you a little story about how we met. Uh, I don't know, it was a few years ago. I did a course called Choice Center in Las Vegas. Uh, what was it? It's gotta be like four and a half years ago now. And after you, I completed the course, I went back and did some volunteering just for like a weekend or whatever where I was coaching some of the next classes that were going through and kind of helping the, the trainer and stuff like that. And so she was actually coaching the same one I was, right? I just saw her walk in. I'm like, all right, hey, you know, whatever. So the first time we ever went out, sort of went out, we met. We met at a Starbucks, okay? And we're just sitting there and uh, she knew I played poker, but she literally has, she doesn't She doesn't know what a, if a straight pizza flush still. She didn't know who I was at all, like in any way, shape or form. And we were sitting there having, you know, like I was having tea and she's having a coffee and uh, just chit chatting. And then somebody like comes up and asks for a picture. And her face was like, she went white. Cause she was like, what the f She thought I set it up. 
she thought that I like told the guy to come take a picture of me. And then she literally asked me, she goes, who are you? Right, she didn't even know um, anything about poker or anything like that. And it's one of the things I appreciated about her and her like, you know, she's a very genuine person, very like authentic. Uh, she's so much the opposite of a lot of the comments that were in the YouTube thread, like if you actually got to know her. Very, very sweet, she's probably too sweet for me. She puts up with a lot. I am not an easy guy to be in a relationship with by any stretch of the imagination. Think about it, the World Series of Poker, um, it's me time, you know, it's very self-focused. I'm waking up at around noon, getting in the shower, having a quick shake or something, headed straight down to play poker and come home at like two, three in the morning, go straight to bed. And frankly, during the World Series, cause I sleep better alone, I'm having her sleep in another room, you know, when I come home late like that, cause, I, cause she's waking up a little earlier and I don't want to be disturbed. So for her, I, and, I, and you know, we've gone through this before at the World Series of Poker, She's finally really getting what it means to support me in that this is just what I need. Like I've been doing this 20 years. Um, I just need my space and my, you know, the feeling of like freedom to do my thing. And so this year I think she's finally getting it. It's taken a little longer than I would have expected. But <laughs> she's getting it now. She's not been like, you know, needy and all that kind of stuff. She's been uh, accepting of the situation. However, it's only been a week. So we'll see a month from now if she's pouting about not getting enough attention. So the hard thing about the World Series is balancing something like that because, right, I'm, my focus is on poker. You know, I come home and I'm home, but I'm not really home, you know? My mind is not available. I'm, I'm there, but I'm not there. I'm like either, you know, drowning out with some Hearthstone, I'm doing some meditation, I'm like listening to some of my podcasts. So, as I said, just balancing things can be uh, a challenge. So, so yeah, anyways, <laughs> the comments, man, holy. Some of them were like next level funny. Others are just really stupid. Cause like I've had like a barrage of like the dumb ones that are just like repetitive and stupid. It's like, if you're gonna come at me with something, just be a little more creative than just like, you know, regurgitating an old phrase that you've heard once or twice. Come at me with something fresh, I can take it. Final two tables of the Omaha 8. That's table one in the Thunderdome. And here's my table right here. I think my table's just a little bit tougher. Okay, bud, you got me curious over here. I'm noticing oh. something interesting with the beard. Just oh. because of you, I'll allow it. Okay. We're going with two face, or what do you, what do you call him that? Well, uh, you can start the day, and you get the other side, and then we'll rob a bank and How long you been wearing it like that? It. Huh? Huh? <laughs> How long have you been doing that? <laughs> Half beard. Oh, only yeah. about five years. Five years? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Hey, what's going on, guys? What's up, yeah, good luck. <laughs> Little team is on to update. Doing good. This gentleman over here started with 100K. Look at all those pretty chips right now. Almost like he knows what he's doing. Fantastic. All right. 642,000 to end the second level. Ray D on fire, he started with 100K, he's up to like 800,000 now. 14 players left. It's gonna start picking up pace a little bit. Blinds going up every hour now. I'm feeling great playing, you know, as far as I know, flawlessly. I don't think I made a boo boo. So, uh, gonna go on this break, I gotta, I'm starving. I'm just gonna grab a little something, something, and then head back to work. Complaining about now, John, that I won the high you card? Said, you said <laughs> <laughs> he says I'm running so good, I even won the high card, which is worth absolutely nothing. Dan, Daniel's so fucking good. <laughs> we got popcorn over here. Hey, y'all. So this looks like about a million in chips. There was some over here. They're no longer here. They're over here. Hey, what's up, man? How you doing? <laughs> All right, switching up chairs. These chairs, I love the World Series poker chairs. Those on the defeat table, not a fan. Final 10 right now, we got a million in chips, ready to go for the gold. How many times is he all in? Nine times, right? He's been all in nine times, let's see your slides. <laughs> like, all in nine times, he's nine and oh. <laughs> okay, second break. Things are going really good. I'm officially chip leader with eight players left. I've got about two million. Now, 
hand breakdowns, explaining them in the other games. A little more complex, but I'm gonna give it a shot because I love these mixed games and I wanna teach you a little bit. So we're playing Omaha High Low. We were playing 51,000 limits. Abe Masseri raised to 50,000. Player named Ilya called. I was in the big blind with not a great hand, but a hand worth defending with. Ace of clubs and then the four, seven, eight, all spades. Uh, I call. Now the flop comes, jack, six, deuce, two diamonds, one spade. I have the second nut low draw and some backdoor stuff. Not a great hand, not a great situation. I'm not gonna go crazy. I check, A bets 25,000, or A bets 50, gets called, I over call, uh, and then the turn card comes the six of spades. And now that gives me a backdoor flush draw. I have the second nut low draw. I do have three spades in my hand, which is not a good thing. Um, but I felt like this was an opportunity if they're both on big low draws and stuff where if it bricks on the river, I could turn this into a bluff and potentially win it. So I decided to take the initiative and you know, the six is a pretty good part of my range, I think, especially when I defend the big blind. So I lead at it. Abe calls, Ilya calls. I'm like, oh boy, come on. I don't know what I want, but just put something there. Like the nine and the nine of hearts game. So a complete brick, right? I have nothing. But that card could not have helped either of my opponents. So I bet Abe thinks for a bit, he folds and you know says he has like a pair and a flush draw type hand, diamonds and spades both. Then the other guy in the button, he shows me this big hand, ace, king, three with nuts, spades and a five and all this stuff. Like they both completely bricked out. I did not have the best hand. I had the third best hand, but I won that pot. And from then on, it's been clear sailing. I've had a lot of really good hands like ace, ace, deuce, ace, 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 deuce, jack, 10, double suited, all the kind of hands that I told you guys, if you want to learn how to play, to watch my how-to video on Omaha eight or better. Uh, it's, it, it'll, you know, you'll win a bracelet because that's the plan today. We are going to, oh, one other thing. Very tough final table. John Monet just busted. I think we're eight handed now or seven. Uh, really, really tough. I got Ray D on my left. Mike Matisseau is of course still in and you know, this is definitely his best game. Uh, but they're short on chips. I have Abe Masseri, really the, the, the biggest threat with chip wise. And then another guy named Yarome who's a uh, non-pro who has been hitting a lot of hands. So I'll be there, heads up crushing late tonight excited this is great i think i might be in the running now for player of the year too because i got a third and now i got this final table and i'm gonna win this one i'm gonna take the early lead and just whew, sail away go team negranu Sweating some final table action. It's been a good day for the team. We got Ray and six, and now Daniel's gonna win. We're gonna get like 150 points and be up by like, what, 200 points? Be solid. Okay, so like, obviously things are going well. Uh, got about 4.5 million in chips. There's 7.7 .7 in play. Three-handed with Abe Masseri, who's super good, you know? You know, you know what he's doing. Yarom is like not a pro, but he still plays really, really well. I feel very confident, though. I think I got a pretty good read on both their games, and I'm making, I'm just playing the best I've played ever. So, 
Um, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling a nice clean shave at one of them barber shops with the hot, you know, with the hot towel on your face. And then uh, I'm gonna be wearing the bracelet like this all day. That's what I'm feeling happening right now. So all energy, positive. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a little vegan pizza. Yeah. And then I'm gonna pop some of that Vega protein just so, or no, the Vega free yeah. workout. It's like crack juice. I swear yeah. I feel like I'm gonna crack juice. Yeah, yeah, sure. MSOP putting championship. Okay. This is good stuff. Okay. MSOP putting championship. Mm -hmm. Two poker enterprises. Okay. Show me the money! This is how you get paid. <laughs> this is okay. the one where you get paid. Right here. Um, yep. Show me the money. And that's gonna be yeah. That's a whole lot of good too. Two when months. is it anyway? So it's uh in November? Yeah, but it's not. It's not during the World Series Europe. It's the Player of the Year thing now. I gotta go. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. this is the way you get paid. And this is your uh, trading cards. Trading cards? Yeah, yeah. Four jizzle. Four jizzle? Yeah. Four jizzle. Let's do it. Science monographs. Let's do it. Done. There we go. Making money. That's getting why he paid. makes all the big bucks. Getting making money. Because getting he paid. Makes all these papers. You notice I didn't read a damn thing. Making money. Getting paid. I'm not paid. aware of that. I don't know what I just signed. I have no idea. That's 15 years. Now. Yeah, I have no idea what I just signed. Literally not a clue. <laughs> I got just you. gotta trust him. I got you. Lead. They played three-handed for like six hours, and at one point or another, every single player was the chip leader. It was just crazy. It just kept going like back and forth. Whoever was short would double, and then whoever got short again would double and whatever. And then eventually YB went out, and now, like I said, they're heads up. Daniel, I think Daniel has like five million, and Abe is like three million about. So we'll see what happens. Daniel, do that. Yeah, Abe Lasseri, who's been playing high stakes poker over at the Bellagio in the biggest room in the world and just crushing souls. And then a brand new one for bracelet number seven. Is that right? Yes. No, I can't even know. Yeah, like you don't fucking know. Two o'clock tomorrow, y'all. Two o'clock Well done, buddy. That's what I Well done. Get some sleep. Round of applause for Abe Mysteri and Dan and Grammy, two of the best in the world. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Bill. Thank you, sir. 2.575 we got. 2 million. 2.575. You have no 5.1. I got 5.27, you got what? 5.135. Thanks, man. It's a, it's, it's a roller coaster. Yep. Yeah, I'll Let's do it. Okay. So they're shutting us down. It's, uh, what time is it? What time is it, Popcorn? It's uh, 2.30. I like the name. It's good. So it's 2.30 in the morning. They're not letting us play anymore because there's a rule where you can only play like 10 levels and you got to come back. I mean, I'd love to keep going. Um, I was down to one and a half blinds. Abe was down. Right now, going into tomorrow, he's got me out chipped two to one. Uh, but we're playing two and four hundred thousand. I've got ten big bets, so this thing's far from over. You know, um, just got to hit some flops, hit some rivers, and uh, we'll crush number seven. I'm I'm feeling very confident about it. I, have, uh, I think I played really well against him, and um, really he's very very smart too. But I did bluff him in some very key situations. So 
I really feel like I can uh, maneuver my way to the bracelet tomorrow. So I'm gonna get some good sleep. I guess we can't shave in the morning, just, you know, it's a little, it's a little premature, but we'll shave tomorrow. <laughs>